It's absolutely dreaded filming, and a few that certain actors refuse to take part in altogether. Warning, Season 8 spoilers ahead. Cersei's walk of shame through King's Landing in Season 5 was brutal enough to make audiences sympathize with one of the most diabolical characters in the entire show. To atone for the sins of adultery, Cersei was forced to walk naked through King's Landing, while the citizens verbally and physically assaulted her. Although many Game of Thrones stars are used to wearing nothing but their birthday suits on camera, actress Lena Headey chose to work with a body double for this scene rather than bearing it all. Heedy said that the scene would have involved three full days of shooting Sans costume, and she didn't feel that she could accurately portray Cersei's emotional state if she herself was exposed the entire time. Heedy is also a mother, and she noted that stripping down for certain scenes might bring up some awkward conversations with her kids. Heedy's usual stand-in, Rebecca Van Cleve, agreed to appear nude in the scene, with Heedy's face superimposed on her body. In response to claims that she was less of an actress for preferring to keep herself covered, Heedy had to stand up for herself. She told Entertainment Weekly, you know what? It was really a bit shocking. I've done nudity, I'm not averse to it, but I know I'm a very emotional actor and I get really driven by that. The Game of Thrones season 6 finale had every fan on edge. The season went out with a bang, literally. Rather than attend her trial with High Sparrow, Cersei decided to pull off an unexpectedly devious revenge plot. She set the entire Sept of Baelor ablaze with Wildfire, a highly flammable and rare substance that gives a whole new meaning to the phrase Scorched Earth. Lancel Lannister tried to save the day in vain. While in a tunnel under the Sept, he notices three candles burning in a small pool of wildfire, and he attempts to reach the end of the tunnel as fast as he can to blow them out. Due to his injuries, he can only crawl, and he does not make it in time. Actor Eugene Simon said this was his most physically demanding scene. The directors had him spend the entire day crawling, using only his upper body strength throughout. He told Elle, I had to do it 27 times. By the end of it, I was covered in sweat from exhaustion. By the time I got to the fire, I felt like the Hulk. Euron Greyjoy is one of the most frightening characters of Game of Thrones. He has no moral compass, and there seems to be nothing he won't do in pursuit of the power that he craves. Even among the other ruthless Game of Thrones characters, Euron possesses a unique form of evil. Actor Pelu Asbeck plays the role perfectly, yet in real life, Asbeck is nowhere near as frightening. In fact, he was actually intimidated by one scene in particular. In the Game of Thrones universe, every kingdom has their own unique rituals and ceremonies. When a new king is crowned on the Iron Islands, a drowning ceremony as part of their initiation. Of course, filming something like this is complicated, and there's no way that the cast and crew are going to get it right in one take. Asbeck said that filming the drowning scene was quite a struggle. After all, it's not easy to act while you're freezing cold and unable to breathe. Asbeck told Elle, When you're underwater and there's a guy pushing you down and it's very, very cold, it's one of those challenges that you have to accept as an actor. This is what it is. This is what we're going to do. Wearing unique costumes and makeup on set is just part of the deal on Game of Thrones. To create some of the special aesthetic effects, actors have had to wear colored contacts and prosthetic lenses. For example, after Arya Stark goes temporarily blind in Season 5, Maisie Williams had to wear colored contact lenses for a few episodes until her sight was restored. But she's not the only character on set who had to spend a little time in the dark. The mare in trance death scene in Season 5, the cast and crew began shooting early in the morning, and actor Ian Beatty recalls getting prosthetics in his eye around around 9am that day. Unfortunately, the prosthetics basically left him blind for a full day of shooting, and he had to leave them in for a full 12 hours. He says that all he remembers from that particular day of shooting was total darkness from morning until night. He remembers his death scene as his biggest challenge on set. BT told L, It was in many ways quite a surreal day. It was very technical, but Maisie and I had worked it out in rehearsals and we were ready. Tormund Giant Spain is a fan favorite on Game of Thrones. Although he is arguably a relatively minor character, he's gotten more and more screen time throughout his tenure on the series, to the point that it raised something of a fan uproar when his fate was left ambiguous in the season 7 finale. He's a tough character and may be gruff at times, but beneath his rough exterior, there's something endearing about him. Actor Christopher Hivyu has appeared in plenty of crazy battle scenes where it seems like it's hard to keep track of anything happening on screen. Hivyu admits that by the time he was scheduled to shoot the Season 7 finale, it had enough of working with the Whites. The Whites that audiences see are actually a small crowd of extras, with the majority added digitally in post-production. Regardless, the actors had to keep up with quick choreography, and according to Hivyu, the scene pushed him to his physical limits, he told Elle. In the beginning, it was tough, but in the end, it became a kind of horrible dance. It was extremely exhausting. Alaria Sand and her daughter, Tyene, had one of the most frightening death scenes in the entire series, and not a drop of blood was spilled. 
Cersei handcuffs both Ilaria and Tyene to opposite walls of a dungeon, and then poisons Tyene as revenge for the murder of her daughter, Marcella, forcing Ilaria to watch her own daughter die while she is helplessly stuck. To make matters worse, Cersei promises to keep Ilaria alive for some time, solely for the purpose of torturing her and prolonging her suffering. Ilaria actress Indira Varma said that she and Rosabelle Sellers, who played Tyene, struggled with their handcuffs throughout the entire day of filming. Since they were supposed to be fighting against them, the cuffs would occasionally come undone but at other times, they got stuck in them. Varma was one of the last people on set that day, and she found herself unable to get out of the cuffs. Finally, a crew member from the props department discovered a solution. Varma said in an episode of Games Revealed, Literally, at the end of the day, I was like, mate, I can't get it off, can someone help me? And everyone's gone. Pete from props is like, I think we need a saw, and I had to be sawn out. Amelia Clark said that filming Daenerys' final scenes was heavy, but one scene much earlier in the series really pushed her to her limits as an actor. In season 1, Daenerys eats a horse heart during a Dothraki ceremony. The scene looks painfully realistic, and many viewers probably wondered what Clark was actually eating. Whatever it was, it couldn't have tasted that great. Clark wasn't chowing down on real bloody meat, but the feast wasn't much more appetizing. She has to eat a whole heart. Hope that wasn't my horse. She's doing well. The horse meat was actually made out of solidified jam, and Clark said the flavor reminded her of a nasty combination of bleach and raw pasta. In fact, she said she was so grossed out by the taste that she barely felt like she had to act in the scene. And unfortunately, this was not the kind of scene that she could just get over with in one take. Shooting lasted for several days, and Clark said that she was physically ill. She told the mirror, I ate roughly 28 hearts throughout the days we filmed that scene. Fortunately, they gave me a spit bucket because I was vomiting in it quite often. When Jon Snow and Daenerys finally met in Season 7, it was obvious that there was a spark of instant chemistry between the two characters, and anyone could have predicted that they would fall for each other. Romance was definitely on the horizon. At first, it seemed like destiny. Fire and ice were coming together at last. But in true Game of Thrones fashion, they couldn't simply hook up and then live happily ever after. Unbeknownst to either of them, Jon is actually a Targaryen by birth and Daenerys is his aunt. Needless to say, actor Kit Harington had some mixed feelings about the scene. After years of working on the show, Harrington and Clark are good friends, and filming a romantic scene together was undoubtedly going to be a little bit awkward. Plus, knowing their character's family lineage, Harrington thought that John and Daenerys were making a mistake. Both actors relied on humor to keep the situation a little more lighthearted. I like looking at it and going, Oh God, I'm sorry. Throughout Game of Thrones, so many different characters have come and gone, and there are always several major storylines going on throughout the known world. So it's only expected that some major characters rarely appear in scenes together. For the most recent seasons, this has been the case for Bronn and Cersei. But it's not because the characters don't have any connection. After all, Bronn spends plenty of time with Jaime Lannister, Cersei's twin brother and not-so-secret lover. It's actually because Bronn actor Jerome Flynn and Lena Headey used to date. And the breakup must have been fairly tumultuous because both actors refused to film scenes together. Flynn and Heedy nearly had to share a scene in Season 7, when almost all of the main characters convened at the Dragon Pit Summit. However, attentive viewers may have noticed that Bronn and Cersei didn't even share a second of screen time. Bronn made a quick exit and excused himself for a drink before Cersei arrived. Although the two split before late 2014 when Heedy began dating a current partner, the wounds must still feel fresh but perhaps they will have to set their differences aside for the final season. After all, Bronn is now supposed to be leading the Lannister army and working for Cersei, so it will be interesting to see how the directors work around this dilemma. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about Game of Thrones are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.